one of the former presidents of WBDC, who of course was in charge during the Zack Snyder era, recently made some very shocking revelations that a lot of people are talking about. Specifically, that they never had a plan in place and that the entire thing felt very amateur and thrown together just to look as good as the MCU. Okay, I want you to listen to what I'm saying right now, and if you have to, rewind this part about a dozen times till you understand what I am saying. This is Danielle Nelson, one of the people that was behind all the decision making, one of the people that was there when they decided to scrape together a bunch of characters, put together a bunch of logos right before Zack Snyder announced Batman v Superman, go out there and announce it without a plan. She is not insulting Zack Snyder, she is literally saying that she was part of the problem. Before you take this as some sort of religious and righteous attack against Zack Snyder, it is not that. It is in fact her admitting that she screwed up along with all the other execs. Okay, now that that's out of the way, yeah, um, she admitted that they made a lot of mistakes. Recently, in an interview that was conducted with Bleeding Cool, she talked about it and she said that they literally had no response. And she says that when it came to the slate process, the slate that was announced by Zack Snyder, you guys remember this? This was everything they announced with Batman v Superman. Like this was the slate. She reveals that this was all literally scraped together at last minute. There was no well-controlled message. There was never confidence in the slate into how they came up with it she literally says and i quote there was never a thoughtful well-controlled confidential slate process end quote and she says that this made them look very amateur when it came to it and certainly when compared to marvel at the same time who just came out and revealed an entire slate of interconnected films more tv shows and everything at that very same san diego comic-con and she says they were just doing it, and they were doing it on their own. Here, they had no idea what they were doing. They just needed something out there. So they went out there, threw it all out there without a single plan, no ideas how it would work, and they just said, yeah, just do it to make us look good. And honestly, you could see that that was always a thing, because whenever back in the day they would be asked about anything, nobody knew. There was no plan. And obviously, once it was all said and done with Batman v Superman, and they saw what was happening... It was over. They realized, yeah, we can't move forward with this. Produce the films that we're working on right now, but outside of that, it's going to be uh, major changes, and major changes there were. 